name is Shivani. I'm a new Wyzant tutor here, and I am here to help with a chemistry problem involving energy emitted for electron transitions in a hydrogen atom. So the question is asking to calculate the energy of a photon emitted when an electron in the hydrogen atom undergoes transition from n equals 6 to n equals 1. So I've set up the equation here. So uh, let me just point out the key features of this equation first. So this right here is the energy change. Hang on. So this is the energy change when an electron goes from Ni, so that's the initial energy level, to Nf, the final energy level. And then this right here, this 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18, that is a constant. I believe that's Rydberg's constant. And then NF is the final energy level and NI is the initial energy level. All right, so now that we have our problem, the information in our problem says that it's transitioning from n equals 6 to n equals 1. So we can deduce that nf, let me use a different color here, nf is 1 and Ni is 6. So now before we plug and chug to get the value of delta E, which is in joules, by the way. So this is the energy change in joules. So before we calculate the energy change, let's think conceptually. The electron is going from n equals 6 to n equals 1. So it's going from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. So we would expect delta E, the energy change of the electron, to be negative. So it's losing energy when it goes from n equals 6 to n equals 1. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and calculate this value of delta E for that electron. All right, so I ended up with negative 2.119 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. So basically what this means, the electron is losing 2.119 times 10 to the negative 18 joules as it goes from 
n equals 6 to n equals 1. Now, going back to our question, we need to calculate the energy of the photon emitted when the electron drops from n equals 6 to n equals 1. So every time an electron drops from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, it loses energy, and that energy has the same amount of energy as the light that is emitted as a result. So the light that you see in the spectrum is a result of the loss of energy from electrons. So I'm just going to make a note of that here real quick. Sorry. So um, when an electron drops from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, the photon that is emitted has the same amount of energy as what is lost by the electron. So with that being said, the photon that is emitted has 2.119 times 10 to the negative 18 joules of energy. So that's our final answer. So now before I move on, I'm just gonna show you in case uh, you need to convert it to another unit. Um, oftentimes, the uh, energy of a photon, um, you may have to report it in kilojoules or in electron volts. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to convert this value to kilojoules and electron volts. So let me open up another board here. So for the conversion to kilojoules, one kilojoule is equal to 10 to the three or 1,000 joules. So 2.119 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times one kilojoule over 10 to the power three joules. Notice how the units cancel out when I'm converting this value. The joules and the joules cancel out and your final answer is going to be in kilojoules. So let's uh, go ahead and plug that into the calculator. So you get 2.119 times 10 to the negative 21 kilojoules. And we can go ahead and calculate the final answer in 
electron volts, and I'm going to do that in a different window, actually. So the conversion factor here, one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Or conversely, you can do one joule is equal to 6.242 times 10 to the 18 electron volts. So we can pick either one of these. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick the top one. I'm just going to randomly go with the top one. Um, so we have 2.119 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times one electron volt over 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Again, notice how joules and joules cancel out. So your final answer is going to be in the units of electron volt. So our final answer for this case would be, let me plug this into the calculator real quick. Excuse me. Um, so my final answer that I got is 13.2. 13.2 electron volts. Let me just double check my work real quick. Yep, 13.2 electron volts. So uh, going back to our final answer, you can also express it as 2.119 times 10 to the negative 21 kilojoules or 13.2 electron volts. All right, so that pretty much concludes uh, this uh, lesson with the answer and the explanations. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps and I hope you have a wonderful day.